like a championship team, a playoff team? I mean, that's every year that's what we think. That's how you got to think. Yeah. 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 We got everything we need. Ken, how, how much do you have an appreciation or renewed appreciation uh, just for having been together through the whole, whole offseason after not being able to see each other work out together last summer? No, I, yeah, I love it. This is, uh, you know, you spend nine months out of the year training for a little bit of for a little bit of football, right? So I mean, the majority of this game is working with your team and training with your team. And when you take that aspect out of it, it's weird. Like last year was weird. So this year, man, it feels right. It feels good. To, you know, I, I got a 5.30 tomorrow morning with the guys. Uh, you know, I, I can't wait. It's going to be good. A lot of... A lot of throwing up and a lot of team building, so can't well, wait for it. Along those same lines, uh, the, the NCAA was talking about limiting um, the number of open pads uh, practices this summer and the amount of contact this summer. Have, have you all talked about that? Or what yeah, it? but you know, Sweeney's been doing that for years. So, uh, yeah, like, Coach Sweeney's kind of been over it, but he's very transparent with us as far as you know, how physical we're going to be or contact will happen. But Sweeney's done a great job ever since he's been here taking care of us. So, you know, yeah, we may be in full pass, but we're not live you know, a lot of times. So, I think that the NCAA or whatever is, is kind of just reinforcing what we already do. So. James, what do you see when you when you saw those four games that JT Daniels played? Was there enough there to really get a read on, on what you guys are going to see on September 4th? There's enough to know that he's good. He's damn good. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's enough to... Uh, uh, justify the kind of quarterback he is and that everyone thinks he is. I, mean, I, I got a lot of respect for him. I think he can make every throw. I mean, there's some th he looks real mobile, hard to bring down in the pocket, uh, slippery. So I think he's definitely a, 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 adds an aspect to their offense that they may have not had in a while. You were talking a minute ago about stealing. You were, you were talking about getting big leads and getting out in front early. Is is that going to be big in this game, do you think? It's, um, I mean, anytime get out of the big lead, it's good. But I was, when I said, see, I was talking about like preparation, you know, so you get out there and the game is so slow, it's light steel. You know? What's James, your, what was your assessment of your run defense as you headed into the fall camp here? Oh, in fall camp? Uh, it was pretty good. Um, as far as D-line, uh, it was not bad. Not bad. I think we showed a lot of physicality. So maybe we had some fits wrong, but that's just because the guy's young and doesn't know where he's supposed to fit. What we want to see is you know, collision. We want to see, all right, maybe you're not fit it right, but did you did you jack that guy up? And we got plenty of that. So, so. Jay, what makes up the prototypical uh, Venables linebacker? I think I do fit the mold, yes. I think uh, I think you need an instinctive, uh, smart player. Uh, in instincts is number one on that list. It's being able to sniff out the football. But fast, sideline to sideline, and, uh, and violent, violent player. 